See them figures, baby, tell me how you figure Be a young rich nigga I'ma be a young rich nigga I'ma be a young rich nigga Young rich I'ma be a young rich nigga I'ma be a young rich nigga Never forget where you came from T6 shows the moment a rapper allegedly shoots and kills her manager in front of the Windwood Walls back on October. Footage shows rapper known as Kivani, whose real name is Kavani Hicks, get out of the white Lexus parked on Northwest 2nd Avenue. The driver gets out of the car and he and the woman are seen arguing. The dispute gets physical and they start hitting each other. A second man gets out of the Lexus and also starts to attack Hicks. Then both men are seen on top of Hicks in the struggle. Video shows one man slamming Hicks to the ground. Moments later, all three get up and Hicks is seen walking in the opposite direction. Hicks then reaches into her purse, walks back towards the two men and starts shooting as the men run. Her manager is hit and collapses on the street. The other man gets into the Lexus and drives off, slamming the car into Hicks. The Lexus reverses before driving off. Hicks gets up and runs away. The victim died at the hospital. What's the deal, YouTube? It's Big Boss Drado. The one and only Big Boss Drado won't be another one. Now check it. Headline. If y'all don't believe, if y'all didn't believe that these females really be on, you just seen it. You just seen it. These females really be on one. You know why? Because these niggas be foolish. Y'all, y'all, y'all really don't know, you know, like how to just walk away or just be on some eye. Right. Like, then, you know, I'm not just going to say, like, oh, she, she didn't do nothing. Because you clearly see they like, you know, they start hitting each other. You feel me? You could tell she's probably toxic. She's wild. And you never know. They might have been in a relationship. You know what I mean? They might have been in a relationship or they might have been fucking around, fucking or the other way I look at it. He owed her some paper or he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. You know what I mean? It had to, it had to be something around, you know, that. You know what I mean? Either of them two. That's what I'm thinking. But regardless of the fact, you feel me? Did he know she had it on her? Did, did she... Did he know that she had that thing on her? You feel me? Because they got crazy. Like, you can clearly see. They got crazy. Yeah, you know I mean? And my whole thing is... They got crazy. And then another nigga hopped out the, out, out the ride. And jumped on, on her. On Kimani. Another nigga hopped up. So they had to know either she got it on her. Or she's like that. Or these niggas just ain't give. Wait, 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 which one do y'all. Which one do y'all think it is. Do y'all feel like. she? They know she had it on her. Or do y'all feel like these niggas is just wild as hell and they just jump bitches. Like, they just, you feel me? Because this is a recording artist and she's in the car with her manager. You feel me? So that's why I'm putting it in, in perspective is how, what I think was behind it. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, y'all. You feel me? This is why this is why y'all here to you feel me probably fill me in. You know, maybe y'all already then did all y'all research, but me, I didn't. 
I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause when I seen that, I said, "Oh no, I I got the no, I got to talk to the people about this. No, nah, this is cause people like everybody always think that it's a nigga doing something to a female. You feel me? But at the same time, I'll never I'll, I'll never condone or be like." Oh, hitting the females cool. Then y'all jumped her. Y'all jumped her. Up that thing. If you, man, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but if somebody think they jumping me, like put your put your put yourself in her in her shoes. Put yourself in her shoes. You're a female. You're a female. You you in the car with your manager or whoever else um, unknown is in the back. Y'all hop out the car. Y'all start arguing, blah, blah. You feel me? Y'all get crazy. Y'all start getting toxic and, 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 and domestic valency. Yeah, y'all start getting domestic valency and... Another nigga hops out the car and start jumping on shorty. Start jumping on you. What is you going to do? And you got it on you. Man, I'm getting these niggas up off me. I'm get If you as a nigga and this shit happen that way. Come on, man. So, out of... Out of everything, they just blaming everything on her. Or they making her look like the wild person. Mug shot wild, everything. Nah, man, this is like a... This, this is a... She can't be wrong situation, because... <clears throat> first of all, it's a nigga. On top of that, it's two niggas. I wish two niggas would be jumping my daughter. Man, I wish two niggas would be jumping my sister. Man, alright. Y'all got to think about it from, from all, all aspects and then you got to go back to the to the to the to the female, man, to the lady. You feel me? Y'all niggas. Then not only then she up it, bucked him, and then killed him. Yes. That man, that was her manager, is no longer her manager. He is no longer a manager. So, like I said, if it was about some money or some business... He had to be doing her crazy. He had to be doing her foul. If it was about them two in a relationship, fucking this, that, the third, the other niggas even more wild for even, what are you doing, dude? Like, why ain't you keep your ass in the car? Like, what, what, what's, what type of time is you on, brother? Any of that. Like, you feel me? Like, she did not up the pole on him until dude got out the car. Like, stay your ass in the car. You didn't, then got your man all blicked up. Come on, man. I, I'm, I can't put the blame on her. I can't put the blame on her, man. And I'm not going to lie. I'm glad she's still here, man. You know what I mean? Because two niggas, then y'all killed, killed her? No, nah, that, that would even be more weird. You feel me? Manager got blinked down. By his recording artist, man. 
put the guns down. Honestly, stop the ratchet. Stop the, like, just stop it. Because this is what always happens. This right here. Man gone. If he got kids, he'll never be able to see them again. If he got, he, he do got a family, he'll never be able to see him again. His mom, his dad, brothers, sisters, none of that. Off of something that happened for five, ten seconds. Thirty seconds to be to, to the longest. Could change your whole life, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Let me know what y'all like, what y'all didn't like. Really, tell me what y'all think about this down below, man, in the comments. Go hit that like button, that subscribe button. And like I said, go blow them comments up, man. Talk to me, I talk back. We on the road to what? 600 subscribers, not less, only more. Until next time. It's Big Boss Drado. The one and only Big Boss Drado won't be another one. Yiddick!